YouTube. Tuesday. 3.35 in the P of M. <clears throat> 79 degrees out there. Feels like 79 degrees. <clears throat> We've had a light rain. Nothing to get excited over. But I tell you what, what there is to get excited over. Liga, Liga, Provada, T-52, Connecticut Stock Cut Habano. I'm going to give it a whirl. Gifted to me from Jose Golf Piper. Thank you, Jose. fan told you about the new neighbors right uh, well Mom was saying this morning that she's surprised they haven't introduced themselves to us yet. No sooner does Mom and Rita leave, they come over. They have a card. Hello, we are your new neighbors. Please call or stop by if you ever need anything. Signed, Lexi and TJ. And then they gave us their phone numbers. Seemed like pretty nice people. They relocated here from Philadelphia. They ask questions about the neighborhood, you know, like they got a big storage barn shed thing here in their backyard. Is it safe to store good stuff in there? It's like, God. Oh. Neighborhood is usually fairly quiet, except for the guy over there. I said, but he's a nice guy. He's just noisy. He likes to play with fireworks. Oh, so I said, do you have a dog? No, not yet, but I want to get an Australian Shepherd. Why? I said, well, I'm not allowed to have dogs. I've always had a dog until I moved back home. Now I can't have a dog. I said, the previous neighbors had two dogs. And I used to, you know, meet them at the fence and give them dog treats, make them a burger once in a while. Oh, well, she goes, I would like to adopt an Australian Shepherd. Cool, cool. He's a, he's a watch maker. I didn't know that was a job. But I imagine it's got to be a job because there's a lot of watches out there being made. I don't know. Uh, did he didn't say what she does, so maybe she don't do nothing. Maybe they I don't know. But anyways. Seem like some nice neighbors. I said, you know, we're I said, we're usually pretty quiet here and we don't have much Unless my sons come over and then they can, they, they've been known to make some noise.
But he's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm in the, you know, I'm watchmaker, I'm in the cars and guns. And I said, we'll get along just fine because I used to be in the cars, as you can tell by the Corvette flag hanging up here, till I broke my hip. I said, but now I'm in the guns. Cool. I really didn't expect them to come over and really introduce themselves because people just don't do that anymore, you know? But Philly, the city of brotherly love and pickpockets and thieves. And if any of y'all from Philly, no offense. Y'all know what your city's like. This is a pretty fine smoke. Experience the extraordinary taste of stalk cut tobacco in all its earthy, peppery glory. T52 or offers a robust and rewarding smoke with an ultra long lasting and flavorful finish. Fine and dandy with me. I will have to, I might just have to add these into some, ro some kind of rotation. Saturday, pipe show. Looking forward to it. I think maybe I'm going to have, I'm going to ask if they will. I'm going to ask Uncle Willie, uh, St. David's Pipes, if Hoosier Marshall makes it, which I really hope he does, because I think me and him will get along pretty good. I'm going to have them pick out a tin of tobacco for me to use on Crack That Crap Open. Whatever they choose. Aromatic, non-aromatic, whatever. Have them pick. Even if it's from those those dollar sample tables where you know you, you buy tickets and or you I don't know if he'll be they'll be there this year then you get a you know you get like a an ounce of whatever I did that last year that's how uh, uh, well I'll be crapped if soup. Soup never experienced anything. She just picked them out by names and she came up with a pretty good blend. So. Well, I'll, I'll definitely do that this year. I don't know what stock cut tobacco is from Connecticut. Not bad. It's pep it's got that that spicy pepper thing going on. Prime, not for me. But it was a good day. I got a 
picked up a, a, a new used Rollinator. That's a walker on wheels for you. What the hell did he just say? Kind of people. Free. Needed to clean. I took it. I, brought, I got home. I took it apart. I cleaned it up. Washed it. I mean, put a shine on it. And uh, it's in a lot better shape than the one I had. Because one I had was like six years old. And it was, it was getting janky. So I got that one now. I put the old one out to the curb along with some skillets because I told your mom went to go buy skillets. Put her old skillets out there. They were out there about mm, six minutes when the junk man happened to spy them and grab them. We got like five on whenever it's trash night. We, I put the trash out on Tuesday night because they come at like the crack of dawn on Wednesday. We have about five, maybe six junkmen to go through the go through the neighborhood. This one was really early. But the early bird catches the uh, scrap. Got uh, got some short ribs and sauerkraut cooking in the crock pot. Mom calls it a slow cooker. It's a crock pot. I don't care what you call it. If it ain't a skillet and it ain't a pot on the stove, it's a crock pot. Yeah, looking forward to the show, man. I can use a day of uh, low stress. Of course, you know how Tunnel Greg is. He 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 just drags the the stress wherever he goes, man. <laughs> Hope slow mo Randy makes it. Smarty Bob, I hope. I'm looking forward to meeting Smarty Bob if he can keep his hind end out of the hospital this trip. <sighs> I don't know if I told you this. Yeah, I don't know if I told you this morning or not, but nah. I was up every every hour last night. Then it takes you a half hour to go back to sleep. Uh, I wonder if I can kill the band. Yeah, there's the edge of the band. Can we peel the band off? Are we close enough for the heat? To... Yeah, here it comes. Here we go, got the band off. jar of bands. 
I don't know. I've just seen some of y'all collect the, the bands and put them in jars, whatever. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you, man, it's a, good, it's a great day. Nobody's, you know, nobody, nobody's created any stress, you know. Drove out to breakfast and back. Nobody was like needing driving lessons. Because nowadays, these young people, they seem to forget that the left lane is a passing lane. Now they do the speed limit thing and block traffic for those that like to go just a tad faster than the speed limit. <coughs> well, anyways, I'll see y'all in the morning with coffee. Or Maybe later if something exciting happens, which I think meeting I think meeting the new neighbors. They have these little really cool little postcards. You know? I wonder where Leo's place is at. I don't know. I show that to mom when she gets home. Tell her, yep, you left too soon. Could have met the new neighbors. And I really didn't know that Cleveland was a big. have a big watchmaking industry here. Anyways, I think I've said goodbye for like three times. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. Wake up. See you in the morning.